I had just finished the household chores for the night and was preparing to go to bed. <laughs> the children. Um, red. red is the first color of Christmas. It was first used by the faithful people to remind them of the blood which was shed for all uh, the people by the Savior. Christ gave his life and shed his blood that every man might have God's gift of eternal life. Red is deep, intense, vivid. It is the greatest color of all. It is a symbol of of the gift of God. Peace the children. <clears throat> he said as he pointed to the Christmas tree. Here is the second color of Christmas, the green. The pure green color of this wonderful fir tree. Um, sorry. Remains green all year round. This one in particular. This depicts the everlasting hope of mankind. Green is the youthful, hopeful, abundant color of nature. All the needles point heavenward. Symbols of man's returning thoughts toward heaven. The great green tree has been man's best friend. It has sheltered him, warmed him, made beauty for him. And suddenly, I heard Sound. Peace the children, that is, the lost sheep are found by the sound of the bell. It should ring for man to return to the fold. It means guidance and return. It further signifies that all are precious in the eyes of the Lord. Peace the children. And then Santa threw forth a candle. Peace the children, that the candle shows that the candle shows um, man's thanks for the star long ago. The small light in the is the mirror of starlight at first. At first, candles were 
uh, placed on the tree. They were uh, like many glowing stars shining against the green, dark green. The lights now have taken over um, in remembrance. Uh, Santa then picked up a gift from under the tree. He pointed to the large bow and said, a bow is placed on a present to remind us of the spirit of the brotherhood of man. We should remember that the bow is tied as man should be tied, is tied all of us together with bonds of good will toward each other. Good will forever is the message of the bow. Santa then showed me a candy cane. Handed it to me. He said, Teach the children that the candy cane represents the shepherd's crook. The crook on the staff helps bring back the strayed sheep to the flock, and the candy cane represents the helping hand we should show at Christmas time. The candy cane is a symbol that we are our brother's keeper. As Santa looked about the room, <gasps> of satisfaction shone in his face. He read wonderment in my eyes, and I'm sure he sensed admiration for this night. He pointed to a reed. <laughs> Please teach the children the reed symbolizes the eternal nature of love. It never ceases, stops, or ends. It is one continuous round of affection. The reed does double duty, as it is made of many things and in many colors. It should remind us of all the things of Christmas. Please teach the children 